He went to jail. Mm. Was it like that dude in Desperado, Danny Trejo, who threw knives? Why, I don't, how many different knives did he have? Was there a chef knife? Switchblades? He had some everyday carries. Can I tell you why I brought this in? Why? The story isn't even that amazing. It's what he looks like. I want you to see the. I want you to see his mug shot. Does it look like me? Is no, it Ronald it McDonald? It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It literally look. This is in a in a strange way. It's look. This show is going to have to end one day because all things end. Yeah. This guy's forty, right? Uh-huh. So he's. This is Sawyer when he's 40, I think. Oh, come on. Don't do that to Sawyer. Let's see. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Got that far away look in my eye. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't know. He has- that right there is not a criminal. That's a dreamer. <laughs> that guy hasn't stopped drinking. <laughs> like, not like daily, but he hasn't had water. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. People hope- say... I'm a dreamer, no, but pe- I'm not the what? only one. Are you trying to People scare Sawyer I'm a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my only one. Well, I hope this Sir, is a wake-up call. <laughs> how many knives do you have on you? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll post this up later with a picture of Sawyer, and you guys can let us know who wore it better. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I doing it right? They're not being right. They're uh, not being nice no, to me, Sawyer. <laughs> he looks more. Bob, that's why your Christmas present is the only one that's nice. Thank oh, you. you brought Christmas presents? I brought Christmas presents. Uh, Do we have Christmas music? Yeah, in a second. Mornings with Matt oh, and Bob presents Nods to the Odd. Uh, an after school Satan Club plans to begin offering activities to children in a Tennessee, Tennessee elementary following Christmas break. <laughs> The Satanic Temple plans to host the club at Chimney Rock Elementary School in Cordova. If you know the Satanic Temple, it's different than the Satanic Church. Uh, They don't even believe in a Satan or anything. They basically are just trying to keep people consistent with the idea that uh, there needs to be a freedom of religion. Uh, But they're doing this just to uh, work up a community, and guess what? What? It's working. Small uh, community in uh, Tennessee is losing their mind. As a public school district, we're committed to upholding the principles of First Amendment, which agree, agree, guarantees equal access to all nonprofit organizations seeking to use our facilities after school hours. This means we cannot approve or deny any organization's request based solely on its viewpoints or beliefs. Um, huh. Interesting. We can support the First Amendment, but we need to support our students at the same time said of someone who had really fallen for this whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. The station says uh, that the club intends to have activities such as science, community service projects, puzzles, games, drinking the blood of babies, worshipping photos of Epstein. It's really fun. And hanging out with their church's leader, Hillary Clinton. Uh, After the club, they plan to head on over from Tennessee over to North Carolina where they will poo on everyone's sushi. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. final one for 2023. That is today's Odd to the Nod. Mornings with Matt and Bob presents Nod, Nod to, to the, the Odd. Odd. Who we got on that phone? We got a good friend of the show, Channing Camille. How are you today? Oh, I'm great, guys. Good morning. My voice is a little bit hoarse from a laughing so hard and cheering you guys on on Wednesday. Hey, can you do me a favor? Show. I'm sorry. I appreciate that, but uh, our boss just walked in and he doesn't have headphones on yet. Could you say that again and a little louder, please, and make sure you enunciate? Absolutely. My voice is very, very hoarse because I was laughing and cheering constantly for over two hours on Wednesday evening at Cap City during the live podcast. Okay, and you're, you're that was ours, right? Powered by Chewy. And you're a female uh, in the demo, no. and I appreciate that. And yeah. I thank you for saying it twice because uh, our boss, super old, can barely hear. There right. we go. Thank you. That was your call. No, I'm just kidding. Last time we heard great. from you, there was you were trying to You'd got renovate, yeah. get, get the Howard Theater in Taylor up and going. And where are we right now? All right, so we have moved into the closing period of the the contract. So we are set to close on January 3rd. Um, I did have some partners when I saw you guys Thursday at your uh, Blue Santa event. I was on a way to a meeting, 
uh, it was pretty clear to me about two minutes into that meeting that expectations had changed, and mm. I had to walk away from that deal, unfortunately. So I'm back at it. Um, I'm still out here raising funds, getting the word out, and, you know, we're just not going to quit until uh, January 3rd. Hell yeah. Good. Good. All right, so we got till January 3rd. Get some money going. We'll reshare that and uh, let all the local people who really want to, you know, bring the town back to life, bring local things back to life. Right. Um, Give us the well, website yeah, we again. Re- yeah, we, uh, we, we, uh, our first Kickstarter did not get funded. So we have another one. We have the Help Save the Howard Theater. Right. We become part of history. That's back up. We have our GoFundMe still, um, still running. And then if we are to pull this off, I'll definitely call back with a follow-up next year. And then that's when I'll really be looking at people. We need, we'll need help with AC, roofing, carpet, electricians, carpenters, all those kind of things to get it back up wow, and running. That's a, well, man, you've taken on a lot, yeah, Channing. But that's also, weird. we're a pretty good source for all those yeah. things. That's that's a lot of our listeners. I know a, a guy our... that does drywall. He's a little drunk. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah. Great he price, can still though. wield a hammer. Yeah. You're great. We, you can't. Hey. I, I know he's. A, I know he's currently busy Friday mornings during football season. But the rest of the time, uh, he's free. And his if wife he keeps drinking, I'm say, <laughs> if he keeps drinking this much, he's going to be free a lot more than he thinks because no, she's no. gone, gone. Yeah. I know. I like that you wiped him I up. Know, sorry, man. Sorry, I cuffed you. Uh, it's okay. It, well, I just want to say that I could not have gotten this far without just hundreds of people behind me, and most gross. importantly, um, you three. <laughs> I mean, you really have. We're going to do both it. Both times I've been on the show, um, we have had the most donations during that time. Beautiful. Well, we're going to do it. It's payday, so, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm going to throw the, a little more money. And the people in. that, yeah, the, the great thing, too, is the people that listen to the show are terrible with their finances, so they don't know what a bad decision it is. So it's working out for everyone's <laughs> advantage, isn't mm-hmm. it? Absolutely. Thank All you right. guys so very Thank much. You, Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you, Channing. We appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh, we love Channing. Thank you, Channing. Damn, uh, that's a lot to take. I can't even imagine what it'd be like to try to read. Having hundreds of people behind you, Bob? Mm. No. <laughs> I see what you did there, you son of a bitch. We got a full house right now. I know. Yeah. I let's, like it. Uh, we don't even... Yeah, let's not even go to track. Let's just figure out... Let's find out what's... What exact... So, currently in the studio... Bob, have you ever seen this before? No. I've never seen this coming together of major forces. I have never, ever, entire... ever... I've been here for 15 years. I'm asking because I didn't know if it had happened at no, some it point never happened. while you were here before that. I have never, because generally speaking in radio, for some reason, radio folks can't get along. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know why. You think? (laughs) (laughs) And uh, currently in this room, there's uh, there's all of us here from the morning show. Then I'm looking straight across here and I see Drew. Mm -hmm. Middays. Right next to him I see not only uh, our, our... Dr- afternoon Drive Powerhouse L.A. Lloyd, right. who hosts the uh, L.A. Lloyd Rock 30 Syndicated Countdown. Syndicated from coast to coast. He's yeah. also uh, manages all the music here. He's the PD. He's the boss. I gotta kiss up to him, folks. I gotta kiss up to him. First he's, line he's the, of management. He Los signs Angeles. paperwork and yeah. stuff like that. We got my nice to him. Yeah. And then, um, if he hasn't put you to sleep, there's the evening guy. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Rude, who, by so the rude. way, so rude. he walked so rude. right in. He walked right in and just stabbed his headphones in without asking for permission. Just so, so rude. rude. He ate the last half of my hot dog right Johnny off of my rude. right off of my nap. He licked all of our hot dogs. Oh, you're so, rude. You're so rude. I thought. I thought actually, I, when I left the studio last night, smelling bad. I thought that was good for you guys in the morning when you walk into. Now you've done worse. It smells. What is this? Is this onion? Onion, Those onion, are onion rings. rings. Help yeah. yourself. No, I think I'm good. I thought that it was an electrical <laughs> fire. When hey, I can I put out one more thing? I hope that Chuck Loesch is listening. If we get him here, we can prove to the city of Austin that we have live local DJs on the air 24 hours Damn a day. Right. Chuck, I hope you're listening. Come yeah. in the studio if you're Oh, that's is right. There, it's midnights, baby. Yes. Is there any other property in the nation? in this city no. that has all local live talent? I don't think there's a station in the country that does it anymore. I think we're the last one. We have... You know, personalities 24 hours a day, Monday through Friday. Damn. 
I mean, personality's a little strong, but you know. All right. Well, <laughs> well, well, got a, he's so rude. He's oh, so oh, that's a rude yeah. thing to say yeah, to your boss. Uh, Drew, good to see you. You've been uh, a little ill under the weather. Yeah, man. I heard you had did, uh, you picked up a little sushi in, you, uh, I was gonna say. in North Carolina. <laughs> sushi yeah. nine. Yeah. And not been so well. Yep, that's true. N- newest addition to the crew, but or a re addition, yeah, really. A lot been of people. Around. Well, yeah, I, mean, I was gonna say if you, if you grew up in this around. if you grew up in this city, you know Drew because he he ran mornings for a whole long time on the that morning X, and uh, well, there's a been, ghost town in there right now. Hey, 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 we're trying to be positive yeah. right now. Soon. Trying to be positive. No, right there's not now. even ghosts in there. Ouch. There's <laughs> 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 a zinger. Oh God, zinger. They uh, were there was a ghost earlier. Got called upstairs. Haven't seen <laughs> come back. <laughs> <laughs> see the ghost come back. Zip out. It just, I, saw, I saw Chris walking with a box that was floating oh, next oh, to him. Just a floating cardboard box. I was like, where are you going, dude? He's like, I'll be right back. I'm just going to walk this box out to its invisible car. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's called gallows humor, everybody. Oh uh, what's up, dudes? What's happening this week? We, uh, we just wanted to step in uh, collectively and just say thank you for uh, a great year. And, uh, you know, we, we couldn't be more happier than, you know, the the success of the party the other night. Everyone had a great yeah. time. It was yeah. good. Absolutely. It, it was. I think it was the feel-good event of the year after every concert we saw Johnny Rude. Uh, I think yeah. that was still the biggest event for me. It was It was fun. great. I mean, that plus the Blue Santa the week before. We had a great time with that one. And I'm looking forward to delivering all those presents this Saturday. Well, it's early in the morning, so I'm not looking forward to that. But oh, I went and bought a neck faces. scarf after the party. Oh, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're, they're in season yeah. now. I know. I wanted, yep. I'm bringing it back. It looked good. <laughs> it did look good. Hey, that, the other night was really fantastic. I appreciated seeing all you guys out there and coming out to, to support us. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, uh, Rude, what do we have? Guys, what do we have to look, to look forward to in 2024? Because I know there's big stuff going on. I mean, th- this was a, this was supposed to be kind well, of our pinnacle year. Was the big fiftieth anniversary? So this is going to yeah. be fifty first yeah. anniversary. And it's been year. fantastic. But from talking in the halls, it seems like we've decided to up the game. And, which our work's not done. Can we go back to being lazy sons of bitches? Though I don't yeah. like the amount of events yeah. that we're programming. The moment you raise the bar, it's I know, yeah. and I get that because. We've done so many great things. And I'd like to say that next year we're not, but no, we're moving forward. Actually, we've been talking about what's going to happen for South by Southwest. Maybe a new location this year. Yeah. Something that's going to be more fun and more accessible for people to get down. Just even if they're coming for a little bit. And so how do you we're, think we're hustling? How do you think you got to be number one? You didn't get there by laying on your ass. You've been hustling. You guys have been working. You've been uh, bringing some good radio. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. Huh? I just want it to happen sure. by accident. Can we just pay somebody to be in a panel or something <laughs> like that? Because the actual effort has not been good. I mean, enough. think about it. All you had to do was take thirty minutes to talk about how rude I am, and suddenly you guys are number one. There it is. Oh, wow. It. wow. I mean, I'm not He's taking rude. credit so for rude. our success. Rude. Rude. He's Johnny rude. Rude. He's stolen so valor. Stolen. Valor. I could say that because I'm the guy that's got the highest women listening in my show. Hey. That's right. I see you in LA right there. What? That's yeah. the sound of his dong hitting you in the face. That's because I'm the only one that goes banging at eight. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You get it over early. Yeah. That's the way to get to bed. Trust me, you got to get me before eight o'clock or right at eight o'clock, or it's gonna be, or it's gonna be just cuddling right. until the morning. Dinner at five, banging at, at eight. eight. That's right. Sleeping at eight o five. Check him out. He's Johnny Rude. Sending you home in your Uber by nine. <laughs> Uber, Johnny Rude. Uber. There's a bus stop right by my place. Damn, he's rude. I gotta finish by the time the next bus is coming. It's funny. He's got the he, schedule on the wall. Yeah, I don't want to wait that extra twenty minutes. What do you mean on the wall? That his it's house the is the bus stop, dude. He just he <laughs> humps you on a bench right there. Yeah. Oh man! And great. while we're throwing out compliments, I, I mean Sawyer, dude, is is such oh, yeah. a great addition man. to the show. I mean, you guys, you know how to pick him, man. So, hey, can he, uh, we a favor if you could not compliment him because eventually he's going to be like, hey, could I have some kind of compensation for coming oh, up here yeah, every Friday? That. Two hot dogs. I know you <laughs> talked about paying someone to be on a panel. And I was like, y'all don't have money to pay anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we had to let the ghost go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not how it works. I mean, you got to be 
you making some money to afford a jacket like that. Yeah. Good my God. old lady no, makes he, money. He had the points. <laughs> what, good. Do you know how many beers you got to drink to get that? Yeah. I was going to ask. <laughs> he didn't have it's to pay lot. for that jacket. Look at look at all the, the sponsors on it. That's the, Those are the people you that bought go. the jacket for him. <laughs> right. You get Subway. pulled over wearing this, they just let you go. <laughs> well, I could say something right now, but I can't. I just Why can't. Not? Come you on. You're the I'm, looking, I'm looking at all these sponsors on one at one location. When's the last time we've seen this many sponsors? Good Lord. Ouch. I know. The Hunt Brothers Pizza is a little bit of a stretch. Well, he, well, Kevin Harvick used to drive the Hunt Brother Pizza car as well as the Bush Light. R.I.P. to Kevin Harvick. He's not dead. He's just retired now. <laughs> he I, was con- I was confused on that one yeah. for a minute. Retired. Oh, this is now a NASCAR show. The police, <laughs> the police shouldn't be able to catch you if you're wearing that jacket. Not my Corolla. I would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, big concerts are coming out. We want to let you know, too, that uh, thank you to Johnny Rude. Uh, the beginning of this year, uh, I say this year, the beginning of next year, I guess, mm-hmm. technically, starting in Jan- January 3rd, I, be given, I think, is the beginning of our... We have an insane amount of giveaways. We have we concert tickets to, like, six giant shows, and we have, like, ten days where we will, every single day... Hey, uh, let's be uh, let's be honest. We want to make sure that after the holidays, you come right back here That's listening right. to us. So go, what we're doing is it's called bribing, yeah. and we are bribing you. And guess how we're bribing you? With a, I believe the technical term is a buttload of tickets. Yeah! I like to think so. I, 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 I go more with the oral fixation. I like to say everyone out there has got a gullet, and I want to stuff it full of tickets. Okay. Ooh, wow. But, um, wow. yeah, so as soon as we start, we Sounds get back. Violent. And in rude. January, it does sound, it didn't sound good as it came out of my mouth, but I, I like the way it sounded. sounded a little rude. It, it did. did. It sounded very rude. rude. But see, all the tickets that we've given away already, you think, oh, man, we already, I've already missed the Eagles tickets. Oh, man, both shows are sold out. I don't know. I got something up the sleeve. We'll have more tickets for that stuff to give away. Yeah, but it's not just the Eagles. That's no. a big name. There are a bunch Tesla, of other... Tesla, we just did a KLBJ Presents. Tesla, that's coming in June at ACL Live Moody Theater. We're going to have more tickets for that. Elvis Costello, who I know is you know, Bob's next-door neighbor, and uh, they're going to have a great time. we got more tickets, so just be listening. We're Journey, Def Leppard, and Steve Journey? Miller Band yeah. all together. The yes. Dome and SA. Yeah, which is... We uh, have those it, today. They, it's a brand-new festival called uh, Dad Life Crisis <laughs> uh, that is happening. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that concert, it's going to be just ride on lawnmowers in the parking lot, yes. I believe, yes. for that one. So it should be a damn Black good time. Black socks and sandals. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and Tool. <laughs> Don't forget about Don't forget Tool. Tool. We oh, Tool. Oh, okay. Well, I want to go to Tool. Uh-huh. We got Tool. We got disturbed. Uh, we've the, who's the other one that's just not, when I was on vacation? It's going to be doing their like acoustic, uh, like disturbed, but not uh, uh, Godsmack. God. Godsmack. 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 That's, that's right. right. There it is. Yeah. Godsmack. So a lot of tickets to give away, and also L N have been working very hard with one of the venues here, and we are going to be hopefully announcing a KLBJ concert in the new first of the year too. Yeah, big concert. Big one. concert. Yeah, yeah. That we own. Yeah, I like wow. the sound gotcha. of that. It's got our name all over it. I think Sweet. it's time to take over the city, yeah. It's designed just for our listeners. It'll yeah. start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, that's we promise right. you it's <laughs> yeah. one song per artist. We'll get you out of there by 3.30 <laughs> on a Saturday. And uh, there'll be fish sticks uh, and also uh, room temperature pudding. Be fantastic. And you got to oh. consume a six pack in thirty minutes. I mean, that's pretty much our audience, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we do have a little bit to celebrate. Uh, this station hasn't seen. Uh, well, can we brag on this? LA, or are we supposed Go to keep it quiet? Go for it, man. I mean, across the board, all day parts uh, haven't been uh, rated this high in a very, very e- ever. Well, since I've been uh, back, uh, come here for the first time, I used to be across the hall at one hundred and one X. You know, back in the day, mm-hmm. but uh, I used to compete against this station, and now I was like, well, let's turn the tables and. Send it back. It's been pretty awesome, and and the thank you for that is not uh, us in here patting each other on the back. It's a big thanks to you. You all out there have been listening. Mm-hmm. You've been telling friends, and you've been very loyal, and we appreciate it, especially because across the country, uh, shows like this and also just formats like this uh, are folding in a hurry. Are they going off to something else, or they're just saying, screw it, throwing in the towel, putting on the iPod? Hey, and, and I'll be the first to tell you, coming back after COVID has been tough for all radio stations, yeah. making, getting listeners mm. back, because uh, everyone's life changed and your your routine changed. And it seems like uh, people are back and they're enjoying radio again, but you know, you got to give them something. You got to give them some content. So I hope yeah. you guys can give them some in 2024. Oh, yeah, so too. Go ahead, yeah. Bob. No, no, no. It sounded like a threat. That was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I was just trying to be rude. It, That's that a, rude. I didn't yeah. say that. It absolutely was a threat. We were being we were being told what to do. Do well or grab a box. Uh, which, yeah. one, which one of us guys are going to count in on this song? Are we going to talk it up? 
Uh, uh, here it is. Oh, straight. Did it.